Of So you called Maren Morris a fake feminist. Yeah. He calls out women more than anyone else. She just announced that she's officially leaving country music. So let me how grab, do you... Yeah, let me grab my tissue. That's Callie Ryan, wife of popular country singer Hardy, sarcastically talking about Maren Morris on a recent podcast on Real Alex Clark. In the explosive interview, Callie holds no punches as she talks about her clashes with Maren Morris. But where did this all start? And will it ever stop? Let's find out. What led Maren Morris to turn her back on the industry that gave her a launching pad? In a recent interview, this is what Maren had to say about quitting the country music scene. Mm. Yeah, I'm not shutting off fans of country music, or that's not my intention. It's just the music industry that I have to walk away a few, like, it is no secret that Callie Ryan Hardy and country music star Maren Morris don't see eye to eye. It's a mix of clashing views on feminism, political beliefs, and public statements that have fueled this feud. So let's unravel this intricate web and explore the core of their discord. Now every storm has its origins. For Callie and Maren, it all began with Maren's defense of Meghan Markle following the release of a Netflix documentary showcasing Meghan and Prince Harry's side of the royal family drama. This profound hatred and annoyance at Meghan Markle specifically, mostly coming from women, I have to say. Maren was very vocal in expressing her dismay at the hatred directed at Meghan, particularly by women. It's unfathomable to me because people are saying like, oh, a woman should never take a man away from his family. That's all that this is. Um, have you seen this family? But this wasn't an isolated incident. Marin's outspoken nature on social media, particularly her altercation with Brittany Aldean over transgender rights and gender roles, set the stage for Callie's response. We've dealt with idiots, you know, for years, you know, saying insanely stupid stuff at us, but like, I would say check on your trans friends, check on your gay friends, anyone that like is in country music and had to look at that bull today and feel Callie, who generally stays away from political arguments on social media, couldn't hold back this time. I never commented on that whole Instagram battle when it was going on, because it just wasn't my place and, you know, it didn't involve me. And it still doesn't, so I'm not going to comment on that specific instance. But when I saw that post, I just, I couldn't help myself. Just based on the sheer hypocrisy of that quote. I mean, I literally, I couldn't help myself. She accused Marin of hypocrisy claiming that Marin only defended women with whom she politically agreed. I think it's just a general blanket statement that if you are someone who claims to be a feminist, love women, be a champion of women, and then the second you find out your beliefs differ from another woman, you go after them. You go after their character. You go after their business. You do not love women, and you do not care about women. You care about being right. These quotes highlight the tension between Callie and Marin, with Callie accusing Marin of hypocrisy and insincerely advocating for feminism, and also defending the country music industry against Marin's criticisms. So all of this was a year ago. What led to the tensions rising again between the two women? Well, Marin Morris recently announced her exit from the country music scene due to what she perceives as toxic messaging from certain artists. She was vocal about what she thought of stars like Morgan Wallen, recent music from Oliver Anthony and Jason Aldean, and was in general against the ideology surrounding country music industry. Talking about the backlash she received for her criticism of Morgan Wallen on his racial slur scandal, Marin said, But I, um, I underestimated, like, I have a lot, um, the, the power of the town and yeah. also every, like, kind of broken thing about it and how it protects itself no matter what. Like, it's... It's very historically accurate for that reaction to happen that way. She called Oliver Anthony's recent hit song, Problematic, a song that resonated with a large number of American people. But I mean, I did think it was crazy and it was just like kind of compounded with the small town thing. It was right. just, these are all getting like co-opted by the conservative right and this is theirs now. Callie defended the country music industry against Marin's accusations of racism, transphobia, and misogyny. She expressed her belief in the kindness and diversity of the country music community, stating, That to me is one of the most special parts about the country music industry, is everybody is has 
great characteristics and val and strong values and people get along and it's just they're kind-hearted people who are an open community and i think it's just a sh she also added that generalizing country music into a certain political ideology is completely wrong on Marin's part it is a huge part of it is extremely liberal and there are a lot of people with left-leaning views and everyone gets along and honestly like that to me is one of the most special parts about the country music industry is everybody is has great characteristics and val and strong values and people get along and it's just they're kind-hearted people who are an open community and i think it's just a shame that if you feel that ostracized by nashville i think maybe there's just some looking inward that you need to do now as we unravel this feud it's essential to consider the implications. Both Calais and Marin are influential figures, and their public disagreement sheds light on the complexities of feminism and political beliefs in the public eye. Callie's accusations of Marin being a fake feminist and her sarcastic response to Marin's departure from country music have intensified the public's interest. Did you see it coming? Yes, I mean, for her to announce she is leaving country. I just, I, I honestly, I think that's so, I mean, the past couple years, like, do you even want, do you even like country music? Do you even want to be in Nashville? Do you even want to be around this community of people? Well, she claims no, because, because she says it's all racist, homophobic, transphobic. Okay, go ask um, Brothers Osborne. TJ Osborne is literally gay, like outspokenly gay. He hasn't lost any fans over it. Like, how does that make sense? I, I just, it's, it's unfortunate. On the other hand, Marin's outspoken nature and her defense of individuals like Meghan Markle and her stance on transgender rights and gender roles have painted her as a figure unafraid to voice her opinions, regardless of the backlash. Going against the popular public sentiment, Morris recently said that she finds Oliver Anthony's viral hit, Rich Men North of Richmond, problematic, especially the lyrics about welfare and obesity. She expresses surprise and discomfort, indicating that the lyrics detract from the musical quality and could potentially perpetuate harmful narratives. And right. I kind of did appreciate Oliver Anthony being like, no, it's not. And I love that he was just like, no, Actually, this yeah. wasn't for you. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, that's kind of badass. But um, yeah, a lot, lot, of, lot of problematic stuff with that verse. So where does this leave us? The feud between Callie Ryan Hardy and Marin Morris is more than a public disagreement. It's a reflection of the ongoing conversations about feminism, political beliefs, and the complexities of navigating these sensitive topics in the public eye. We'll be keeping an eye on this unfolding story, but we want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this public disagreement? Whose side are you on and why? Let us know in the comments below, and please do subscribe to Country Beat Daily.